Hey friends, thanks for joining me again. Today we need to look at weld buttons, how to make them and why we make them. All right, so weld buttons, they're essentially just little circles that we make so we can practice keeping in the correct position while we are welding. So when we're welding, we have to keep the correct position. Most of the time, that is straight up and down 90 degree on a work angle and then a travel angle about 10 degrees, sometimes 20, just depends. Most of the time about a 10 degree angle. So we wanna to continue to keep that angle no matter where we are welding and no matter what the weld is. So a weld button is a circular weld where we maintain not only the correct position, but we maintain the correct speed and the correct width of our, uh, of our stringer, our puddle, by moving the electrode in the correct circle or if we're doing whip and pause. I find it's easier to do circles with the weld buttons to maintain your um, width of your puddle and then we just keep going around until we cover up that initial starting point. So I'll show you how that works. This is not mine, this is a student's. It's a pretty good job. They did a good number of buttons on here. They're not easy and they're not um, intuitive when you first start. There's a lot of things we have to keep focused on. So let's go try to do some, we'll see how it goes. All right, friends, so we got our weld buttons here. We'll go ahead and chip off that slag and take a look at them. Okay, so here's our buttons. We can see where we started, right there. This one, we started right here. Looks like we had some issues in here. It's tough to maintain those circles and always maintain a drag motion that is a 90 degree work angle and a 10 degree travel angle. But it's something that the more we do it, the better we get at it. So that's why we go ahead and we do a whole pad of buttons, flip it over, do a whole pad of buttons with a different rod. All right, friends, so those are the weld buttons. Remember, as you're doing this, it might be frustrating if you're not that great at first. That's okay. Welding is all about practice. The more time we put into it, the better we get. The biggest thing I would recommend for students that are first learning to weld don't get frustrated, it's a process. We'll continue to keep putting those electrodes in that stinger and keep making those welds and we will get better. So don't get frustrated if you don't think yours look as good as they should, they'll get there. Remember to work hard folks, hard work is what it's all about, making ourselves better through the process of hard work. And thanks for watching.